Larry. Now, where can I begin? And I've got to tell the truth, I cannot sin. When did I first meet Larry Washington? I think it was in the late 70s or early 80s. And when I first met him, I said to myself, that one looks a little shady. Into the facility, he comes strolling immaculately dressed, talking boo-coo mess. He knew everything, or at least thought he did, talking that Coatesville jive. He just knew he was smarter than anybody out of Hasburg, dead or alive. I said, mm-hmm, I'm going to get this one. And he knows, and he talks too much mess. And who did I get him when he decided to meet one day to confess? Now, I won't peep his whole card, but he knows what he told me concerning one of the staff. And I advised him so seriously, tell him, Larry, go ahead. And he did, and I sat back and just quietly laughed. I couldn't laugh out loud because they would have gotten me. But they lit into him like a five-day alarm. And you know what? Larry was so cool, took it all and said, I'm glad you got the stuff off. And he didn't suffer any harm. In fact, it made him more determined to finish the program with flying colors, never accepting any mess or discouragement and negativity from others. And he liked to take chances and was determined to finish once he had made up his mind in his life. And one of the things he was determined to do was to make dead his wife. He had the nerve and determination to still when people tried to talk him down. Tell him, now, why you want to go up against bad, bad Leroy Brown? But Larry didn't care. No, nah, he saw what he wanted and went after her and proved he was a go-getter and had a lot to offer. I could go on and on and on, but I must quit and not tarry. For if I keep talking, I'll be like my friend Larry. Love you, Larry. Congratulations on your retirement. I love roasting you, and I hope death let me do it again, you jive turkey.